if you are struggling with your mascara lasting all day, girlfriend, you are in the right place. Have you asked yourself, how can I get my mascara to last all day? I will share step-by-step -step instructions on how to extend your mascara wear in today's video. <laughs> In today's video, we will learn why your mascara wear starts with the brush. We will discuss the mistakes that many people make when applying their mascara, which actually reduces their mascara wear. And last but not least, I will share an innovative way that you can extend your mascara wear. Why does it start with the brush? Well, let's talk formulas first. There are three different types of mascaras, essentially. You have a mascara that defines, you have a mascara that adds volume, and then you have a mascara that lengthens. And each different type of mascara has its own brush. So depending on what type of mascara outcome or what kind of lash personality you're going after will determine the type of brush that you want. In addition to that, it also has a lot to do with what you're already working with. If you have wimpy and sparse lashes, you may want more volume. And a more volume brush is going to be fuller like this one. It has a more fuller dome and it really allows you to add volume. You would use this brush horizontally going from the base of your lash all the way to the tip. And then you would also use it vertically put in a vertical position going from the base of your lap from your tip. This is going to allow you to separate your lashes out while also give you volume. So this would be a volumizing type of brush. Then you have a lengthening type of brush and this is the lengthening type of brush. Sometimes you will see this brush and it has a little curve to it and the curve is really allowing you to curl your lashes which is really great for people that have those long and lovely lashes is what I'm going to call them. And that this type of mascara is really going to help you to define as well as lengthen the lash. You're still going to do the same kind of position, but because these uh, bristles are a little bit closer together, they really allow you to get every lash that you possibly can out of this brush itself. So you can do it in a horizontal position from the base to the tip and just comb your lashes through. And then last but definitely not least, this brush right here will uh, really allow you to expand as well as define your lashes. It's kind of a two-in-one one brush because it has bristles kind of like this one, but then it also, when you turn it a certain way, it, it has a similar type of function as this one. So it's kind of two brushes in one. So just depending on how you turn the brush is how it is functionally used. So essentially you're getting kind of two mascaras in one with this brush right here, where it allows you to expand as well as ex extend your mascara. So these are the brushes and that's why the brushes are so important as well as knowing what your true lash personality is. So I'm curious, what brush do you currently use? Are you using more of a defining mascara? Are you using more of a lengthening mascara? Or are you using more of a volumizing less mascara? Comment in below and let us know. We want to know what you're using and the type of brush that you like. I wanted to talk to you about some common mistakes that people make that reduce their mascara wear. And the one mistake that I notice is first and foremost, people are not curling their lashes before they apply their mascara. You want to make sure that you're doing this because what this is, it kind of acts like a non-heated curling iron. When you curl your lashes, it's giving a curl to your lash. So you want to make sure that you're doing that. I know I don't have naturally long lashes, but for those of you that do have them, if your lash is not curled, you're going to get kind of your lashes just kind of sticking straight out, which kind of makes your mascara look weird. But if you take the time to really curl the lash, hold it for about five seconds at the base of your lash, and then curl um, and then at the middle of your lash and then again at the top of your lash you'll really get a nice curve that is essential to helping your mascara last longer the next mistake not using lash primer lash primer helps intensify the volume and the length of your natural lash so if you really want to maximize your lash potential you want to apply a lash primer before you apply your mascara now I already know some of you are saying well girl I ain't got time for all that well, if you're okay with your mascara not lasting all day, then don't curl it and don't prime it. But then at the end of the day, girl, don't complain about it's not working because you didn't want to do the essential steps that were required. If you want to know how to extend that mascara where these are the mistakes to avoid to get that mascara to last all day. The third mistake that I have noticed is that people are using old mascara and they're expecting the mascara to perform like it did when it was brand new. Well, 
girl, let me tell you, this is the FDA guideline. Yes, the Food Drug Administration recommends that you swap out eye products. That includes mascara, eye curler inserts, eyeliner, lash primer, lash serum. All of these things should be swapped out every three months. Yes, every three months. That's included even if you only wear it on Sunday. It starts from the time that you open the mascara. That includes if you only used it once in a month and you, you didn't use it anymore. It is about the bacteria buildup in the mascara that can lead to eye infections like styes. I'm sure that you want to look the best that you can. You want to rock your best lash and, and your best vision of yourself. And now walking around with an eye infection is not cool. I remember I had a person in my tribe to say they do not make prosthetics for your eyes. You want to avoid an eye infection at all times. And you can do that by making sure that you swap out your old mascara and do this every three months. Now, before I share an innovative way to extend your mascara, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel. I will be doing videos like this that's sharing information about skincare, beauty, hacks, and tips that I'm sure you'll be able to implement into your routine today. I wanted to share an innovative way that you can extend your mascara. I know we talked about the prep process, but this is something that you can do in addition to the prep process that really will help extend your wear. And the innovative way is to use two mascaras. I know that sounds kind of like a bit much, but if you are using a volumizing mascara, if you have those wimpy lashes that we talked about, or even if you're using a defining or even a lengthening mascara, one of the things you can do after you apply that mascara is to let your final coat be a waterproof mascara. Now, if you are a person with oily skin, if, if you live in an area where it's extremely humid, or if you are out working out and you don't want to have mascara running down your face as you're doing that. Waterproof mascara is going to be the solution to the problem. So you don't have to worry about any of that. You can work out without your mascara running. You can sweat without your mascara running. You can have oily skin without your mascara running because of your, the oiliness in your skin. It just solves all of those problems so you can have that mascara on all day and not have to worry about reapplying. So if you are someone that does not want to wear fall lashes and you want to rock your God-given lashes, I have something special for you, girlfriend. I want to help you determine what your lash personality is. We talked about several different things in this video as far as the different types and the different brushes, but you still may not necessarily know what is your desired result. This lash personality is going to give you that after you answer a couple of questions about what your desired outcome is for your lash. If you're interested in that lash personality survey, look at the description below for the link for more information. Thanks for watching and bye for now.